Oh my god. You know what? I'm not even gonna, like, do a real intro. I'm just gonna say, I'm very sorry for not being able to get out as many videos as I want to recently. I just, I haven't had the time because I've been working. And you know what work has been doing to me? It hasn't been doing anything bad, as you can see right here. But it's been taking away a lot of my time recently. Um, now that I'm working and whatnot, and I, mind me, I don't have, like, an actual job. I work with my stepdad. But it's, it's not a real job, I guess, but it's still a job, and I'm still getting paid for it. So, it's just, it's, it just sucks, because it's like, either I'm working, or I'm doing family stuff. And that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing, except for when it comes to video making and editing. I don't have the time to do that stuff. Um, so this thing right here, this, I'm not even going to show you the back of it. But this is the essential phone. I haven't even finished recording the video for this. I still need to record an outro because I still have to do a third restoration video for this phone. Because, um, you know, I'll just tell you right now. Okay, so after I replaced everything, the service, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth still don't work. So, I gotta figure out how to fix that. But I don't know how to yet. So, I am just gonna end up ending off the uh, second part of the restoration and then I'll just do a third part or whatever but yeah that sucks that really sucks because I was really planning on maining this thing so I if I get calls and stuff I can answer them unlike if I was were to use this thing where the microphone is broken so no one can hear me when they call me and I answer they cannot hear me and stuff like that I like the microphone is just destroyed. I don't know how. But I'll try and repair that in my restoration for this, which, speaking of which, I have something in here. That's your only sneak peek. But that is a housing, a new housing for this. And I'm still waiting on some other parts, such as a case, a screen, and some more back glass. But this is besides the point. The point I was trying to make is that this thing sucks to main right now because of that broken mic and because it's broken. Anyways, I'm sorry for all the whining. I guess it's not whining, but still, you get the point. <laughs> I'm just I'm just very sorry for not being able to get as much videos and whatnot out as I want to. It's just how things are playing out right now. So hopefully when school starts, it's not going to be any worse because it, right now it's pretty bad. Anyways, uh, today I'm going to be doing an entire smartphone collection. I've charged up most of these, if not all of them. Some of them are most likely going to be dead. I can guarantee you that. But um, yeah, starting off, we have the essential phone. I'm not even going to show you the back or anything. Just know that it has a case on and stuff like that. Next up, my Moto X4. This is my main phone right now, and this is going to be restored soon enough, um, whenever the stupid parts come in, because it's taken a month now. Um, but it was the same with that phone, too, so I mean, it doesn't matter. But, anyways, it works. It's on Android Pie, and it's an amazing phone. It runs very smooth. It's just broken. <laughs> so, yeah. Here we have this LG. I don't know what this is, but I will go ahead and try and take out the battery for you. Yeah, oh, that really hurt. This is an LG L75C, and it works. I don't know if it's charged or not. I think I forgot to charge this one. But we'll see. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, it is charged. Cool. There it is. It's slide phone. It's like an Optimus. Optimus slide phone or something. I don't know. It's neat. Here we have an HTC Rhyme. This one is cracked, but it works totally fine. I don't think it's charged right now. Oh, is it? Oh, it is charged. All right. Well, it's charged. It runs Android 2. Um, it's pretty nice. Here we have an HTC whatever the heck. You know what? Fun fact, this is a very rare color, and I think there's only five of them made, so they're really rare to find, and they're actually really expensive as well. I'm just kidding, this was a smoker's phone. This phone used to be freaking silver. But look at this. I've never really mentioned this. There was That was a mosquito. Okay. Well, I never really mentioned that. Oh my god, it's going to keep flying around my hand, isn't it? Go away. I've never really mentioned this, but yes, this was a smoker's phone. And oh my god, it's, so, it's just so bad. Like, turning from silver or gray to this color, that's pretty freaking bad. Here we have a Blackberry Torch. 
I don't know if this one's charged or not. It probably is not. No, it, it isn't. Okay, well, these uh, this button cover is held on by tape, and the touchscreen is very faulty. Here we have a shattered Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, the shattering is very, very weird, but um, it works. Works totally fine. It's on T-Mobile. I'll let that one power up, and then I'll show you that one, because that one's actually worthwhile. Here we have this weirdo HTC phone. Oh, shut up. This HTC Pocket PC phone. Oh, it still has the uh, little fake SD card insert thingy. But yeah, next up, Samsung Galaxy S4 on AT&T. Is this dead? This is dead. Oh. Okay. Well, that's weird. Anyways... Here you go. As you see, it works. Works totally fine. It's just shattered in the middle. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. This is shattered, but it turns on and works totally fine. Got this for $10 at a flea market a couple years back. And yeah, here we have a Samsung Galaxy Fame. It's missing the uh, front-facing camera, and it doesn't turn on for some reason. I don't know why. It's in, like, perfect condition other than that. And it has a motherboard as well as a screen and stuff like that but it just won't turn on, so, I don't know. Here we have an HTC, uh, what is this? Resound, HTC Resound, and it works totally fine. Besides the bottom of the touchscreen, which doesn't work, but other than that, it does work totally fine. It may be charged right now, but I don't think it is. No, it isn't. All that's wrong with it is that the touchscreen is messed up right here, and it's shattered. Here's a Kindle Fire HD6. This is my brother's old tablet, and of course it's gonna be in nice condition because it's my brother. And then here's my... <laughs> <laughs> Here's mine, because uh, I used to rage really bad at, with games, and then I like to experiment a lot, and I put a giant speaker in it that came out of one of those, like, cards that you would open, and it, like, starts to say stuff. One of those cards, um, and it's actually really freaking loud, um, and yes, this does work, by the way. I will turn it on, or not. It shows the dead battery sign. That's good enough for me right now. But, uh, yeah, this works perfectly. This is stupid, this right here, but it works. <laughs> um, and this, I used to rage really bad at games, and I, uh, you know, punched it. Twice, actually. I punched it first, shattered it, got the screen replaced, punched it again, this happened, and I was like, you know what, I'm keeping it like that, because it's amazing how this LCD has survived that. Where is that mosquito at? What the f- Oh my god, go away. Moving on. Here we have one of the two HTC Dream G1s that I have. These are both running Android 1.0. This one has battery? No. It Wait, does it? I can't tell. Okay, this is the other one. This one doesn't have a battery in it. But both of these are on Android 1.0. They both work perfectly, and they're both in near mint condition. So yeah, that's really, really nice. Next up, we have an iPhone 3G. This is an 8GB iPhone 3G, and... It works totally fine. It's in near mint condition. It has no separation um, between the housing and the uh, metal bezel that's above it, which is nice. It's on iOS 4.1.2, I believe. Next up, we have a 16 gigabyte iPhone 5S. This is the one I restored a while back. Um, and now the screen is really scratched. I don't know why, but this screen actually scratched really easy, even though it's OEM. And I know it's OEM, but like still, that's weird. Maybe it has a new piece of glass or something, I don't really know, but, yeah, I don't really know. Oh, here's this. Come on, iPhone. There you go. But it still has a lot of apps on it. Not really, but it still has apps, so, yeah. And then here's this one. It takes a little bit for the battery to get used to itself. It'll say it's really low, and then if you watch very carefully, it'll go back up. It's really weird. Just like that. It's 16 gigabytes. It runs iOS, I don't even know, 11.4.1, and it is on Cricut. So yeah, there's that. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy S Continuum. This is a really cool phone because it has like two screens. If you look right there, you can sort of see it has two screens, which is really cool and stupid, but also once again, really cool. Okay, well, this one's dead. Here we have an HTC One X or a One S. I don't really remember what this is. I think it's a One S, but yeah, it's shattered, and it doesn't work at all. Here we have a BlackBerry Z10, I think. Yes, BlackBerry Z10. This one works. I swear if this isn't charged. Why isn't it charged? What the heck? All right, well, I guess it's dead. I don't really know why, but yeah, it is. Here we have an iPhone 3G. This one is 16 gigabytes, and it's the same as this one, except it runs... No, it still runs 4.1.2. 
This one is really beat up, and the power button doesn't work, so I can't turn it on, and I also can't turn it off. So, it's dead. I charged it up to, like, halfway at last night, but then it just died overnight, because it also has sort of a bad battery. Anyways, here we have a uh, Samsung Intercept. Bought this off of my friend in, like, sixth grade for, like, five bucks, and I guess it's dead. I don't know why, but it's dead. Here we have a, uh, not Samsung, sorry, Blackberry Bold. Um, I love this phone to death, I, I swear. It's such a nice phone. Is it really dead, too? It's dead. Anyways, I'm cons- I'm- I'm including this because this screen is actually touchscreen, which is really weird, but it's really cool. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. I guarantee you this isn't charged. It's not. It has a very shattered screen. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's still pretty shattered. But, um, the housing and the back are almost mint condition. So, I don't know, maybe one day I'll buy a new screen and do a re uh, restoration or repair video for it. Who knows? Um, it's just that screens are really expensive for these phones, so I don't know. But yeah, there it is. It's 32 gigabytes and it runs Android 7. Here's a Moto Z2 Force or Play. I don't really remember. Whatever one has the plastic screen because this has a plastic screen. Um, this thing is severely water damaged inside and I got this as a... I don't know if it was a mi no, it wasn't a mystery phone, but it was um, just one of the phones that I got in the trade with Tech.yt a little while back, and I did end up getting the board working. So like right now, I just need to get a battery in a screen, and hopefully it will work. But I got the board to charge and stuff like that, or not charge, but like show signs of life. So yeah, that's cool. But anyways, here we have a LG G4. This one works. I don't know if it's charged right now, I guess it's not, which sucks because I really wanted to show this working, but it doesn't have boot loop, it works totally fine, and it's a really nice phone actually. I'm probably going to do a restoration video on this phone too, someday, but yeah, I can't like be spending a lot of money all at once, you know? Here we have a Palm Pre or something like that, shattered display, not working anymore. Samsung Galaxy S1 Vibrant for T-Mobile. It doesn't have a charge, oh my god. Anyways, it works totally fine. Here we have an iPhone 4, this one is 16 gigabytes. This one is the 16 gigabyte one that I jailbroke. It's on iOS 11, or not 11, sorry, 7.1.2. And yeah, I got this one out of the Target bin a long time ago. And yes, it was already this scratched, by the way. Like, I don't even, like, this is severely scratched. I don't even know how that happens, but it's whatever. Here we have an LG Stylo uh, first generation. So has a stylus, actually. Uh, this is my stepdad's old phone. Well, I guess you can call it his old phone, and the reason I say that is because I bought him a new phone to replace, or not replace, but repair his old phone. So I bought him a separate brand new phone to replace that one, um, because this is what his old phone looked like. Um, so I bought him a new LG Stylo so I could swap motherboards in them so he has a good phone with... All of his stuff still on that other board so this phone has his old screen housing and back cover and whatnot but it does have the brand new motherboard in it so yeah there's that it does turn on it just has a bad LCD as you can see right there um, so yeah there's that also here's this it's on Verizon I mean shit bucket here we have a Samsung rep doesn't have a battery it's piece of garbage Samsung bright side Maybe this one has a charge. I don't know. No, it doesn't. Whatever this Samsung is, I don't know what it is anymore. But it works. Fine. It's just a basic Android 4 phone. Here we have a Optimus something. I don't know. But it works. I have two of these that work, so if one's not charged, then hopefully the other one is. Which this one is not charged, of course. Why wouldn't it be? I swear to god I charged that one too but it's whatever. Here we have another Samsung Galaxy S3. This one is on Sprint, and it, I got this one out of the Target bin. It's in basically mint condition, besides very, very light scratching on the back. But yeah, it works totally fine. It came with the screen protector on, which is obviously nice. So yeah, here's this thing. And there's that. Here we have an iPhone 3GS. This one is 8GB, and it's on AT&T, of course. 
This one is on 6.1.3 and it works totally fine. It still has a crap ton of songs on it, so I didn't reset it. It literally had nothing but songs on it, so there's no point in resetting it anyways because it didn't even have anything else on it. It just had a crap ton of songs, so I was like, oh, okay, why not just keep them, of course. Anyways, um, here we have this HTC phone. It's really, really weird because you can like slide it out and then fold it up like that. Like it's a little laptop, which is odd, but I know it's not charged because I just found this one. Here's this. You suck. Come on. There we go. As you see, works. Here we have another one of these HTC Resounds. Maybe this one's charged, I don't know. I guarantee you it's not though, because I also just found this one. <laughs> no, it's not, of course. Here we have a BlackBerry DTEK50. Um, I'm gonna be selling this one or something because of this. You see that crack right there that goes across the entire screen? That screwed up the entire touchscreen because, okay, so like with some phones, the touchscreen is the actual top layer of glass. Unlike, obviously, like, phones like these or or these or stuff like that, but a lot of budget model phones, especially ones that are made from Alcatel, like this one is, I believe, an Alcatel Idol 4 or something. But anyways, yeah, phones like that, the top layer of glass is the touchscreen. So if you crack that top layer of glass, then your entire touchscreen stops working. So, like, mine... The touch stopped working over here, but it still works on this side, which sucks because I can't even do anything on that side. Like, there's no point, you know? But it's whatever. I'm gonna sell it or something. I don't know. I don't feel like buying a new $40 screen for this because it's expensive. But yeah, there's that. It spontaneously cracked, too. Like, I was about to record a review video on that phone when I got home from school, but then it... When I got home, I realized that it spontaneously cracked itself, so... I was still gonna do it, but then the touchscreens didn't work, so... Yeah, here we have this little Verizon phone. I know this isn't charged, because I didn't feel like charging it. But it's really small, especially compared to my tiny hand, you know. Yeah, here we have a Samsung Admire. I know this one has to have charge. Yeah, it does. Okay, so there's that one. Um, this is literally not a special phone at all. Here we have a Samsung Grant, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. Shut up. This one works totally fine. It's on... What is this on? I think... Actually, I don't even know what this is on. I know it's not track phone. Wait, maybe it is. I don't really know. Oh, it's on Metro. Okay, it's on Metro. It has a uh, track phone back cover, though. But it's nice. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy Y. This one has a custom ROM on it to make Android 2 look like Android 7, which it's really, really crappy, honestly. But this was the first phone I actually did a custom ROM on, so yeah. There's that. It's gonna make a really retarded sound when it turns on. Anyways, here we have a Samsung Galaxy Rugby. It's also very water damaged, if you couldn't tell already. Um, yeah. That's how I got it, though, so it doesn't matter. It's whatever. Anyways, back onto the Samsung Galaxy Rugby. This one works totally fine. I don't know if this one's charged or not, though. Yeah, I guess it's not. I charged this one. But this one also has a wonky battery sometimes, so, uh, it's whatever. Here we have a Kyocera Hydro. This one works totally fine, and I know this one will turn on. It used to boot loop, but I got it out of boot looping somehow. I don't really know how. I didn't even do anything, but it just stopped boot looping. Here we have another iPhone 3GS. This one, obviously, is just busted. <laughs> This one is 16 gigabytes. It has no LCD, but it still has a digitizer on it. This is actually the digitizer that came off of the, um, the other one where, wherever it is. Yeah, this digitizer came off of this phone because this one usually, or originally had this cracked one right here. So I uh, switched that out. And also this touchscreen is, uh, wonky as well. So yeah, there's that. It's nothing special. It never worked. So I just decided to do this mod because it looks really cool. Um, but yeah, there's that. Here we have a Motorola of Razer something, I don't know. I guarantee you this isn't charged. Yeah, I know it's not because I just found that one. Here we have an iPhone 5. This one is 16 gigabytes and it is on Sprint. And it works totally fine. I'll show you what iOS version it's on when it turns on. Here we have an iPhone 4S in an OtterBox case. I found this at Target without the OtterBox case. I found it with another case. Um, 
oh, it's this case right here. This case was originally on this phone, but since this one is like mint condition, I decided to put the case that I had on my first iPhone, which was the iPhone 4S. It's a white one that's somewhere in here. I'll show you later. Um, but yeah, I decided to put that on this phone. And as you can see, it's turning on right now. This is 16 gigabytes on Verizon. Here is this phone right here. I love this phone so much. The iPhone 5 is like my favorite iPhone, honestly, like ever too. Um, but yeah, as you can see, runs iOS 9. Can you go away? Okay, thank you. Now I can go into the settings and show you. It's on 9.2.1, 16 gigabytes, like I already mentioned, and it's in really, really good condition besides the top. So yeah, there's that. And here we have the iOS 7.0.4, iPhone 4S, I almost said 5S, but iPhone 4S. Um, and what's cool about like pre-iOS 7.1 is this. This slide to power off screen and stuff like inside the uh, calling app. Everything is square, which is weird, but it's cool. So yeah. There's that. Next we have a Samsung Galaxy S7 Active, and I bought this for $30 on eBay. This is like my second most popular video, um, was the unboxing for this phone. As you can see, it fully works. It's on Android 7. It just has a few very, like, there's a pink line, and then there's a very faint green line, and then there's spots up here. But other than that, it's really good. Obviously, that and the cracks, but anyways, other than that, it's, uh... It's a really nice phone, actually. I love the S7 Active, and they're really cheap, too. Next up, we have an 8GB iPhone 4 on Verizon, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Like, all of my iPhone 4s are on Verizon for some reason. But yeah, there's this one. This one is just basic. It had a, cr uh, a uh, cracked back, but I put it on another iPhone, which is actually right here. This one had a shattered screen, but a good back, so I put this shattered back that came off of, the off of that phone onto here, and I put the non-cracked back onto that one, which anyways, this is also another 8GB iPhone 4S, or not 4S, 4, and once again, on Verizon, um, so there's those, here we have this Nokia something, I don't know, it's neat, but it doesn't work right now because I can't get it to charge, Samsung Galaxy S2, works totally fine, is an S2 Epic on Sprint, and I would show you, but it doesn't have a battery, <laughs> So, yeah, there's that. Here we have an iPhone 6. This is 16 gigabytes on T-Mobile. And I'll power this one on right now. This it um, used to be my mom's phone before she upgraded to the iPhone 10, And then she gave me this. So, yeah, this is almost mint condition. It just has a lot of scratches on the screen. But besides that, it's, it's not, actually not even that much scratches, honestly. But... Anyways, besides the scratches and whatnot, it's almost mint, and it also has a spot down here, but yeah. It runs iOS 11 something, I'll bring it to the settings for you guys. This is bright. I hate iPhones, I swear to god. What are you doing? Can you go? Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> As you can see, it runs iOS 11.3, and it's 16 gigabytes, so yeah, there's that. Pretty nice phone, just I don't like maining iPhones because they suck as main phones, honestly. But um, here we have an HTC Wildfire S. This one works. I don't, yeah, this one's not charged, but it shows this, which that's not even an LED light, and I can't even see that if I'm not looking at my screen. Um, but yeah, there's that. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy, or not, no, Samsung Nexus S. And this one works totally fine. It's in near mint condition. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy Ace 2. It works. It just has a bad battery. Here we have another iPhone 5S. This one works totally fine, other than it has my friend's attached iCloud, which he forgot the password to, which is like the most annoying thing ever, I swear. <laughs> it's like when you know someone and, you, and they forget their iCloud so they can't remove it. Yeah, that sucks. But... Uh, this one runs iOS 10. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy S5 that I got out of the Target bin, and I did a, uh, well, I removed the screen and I broke the touchscreen, but that doesn't matter because it needs to be replaced anyways. Um, and I removed the screen because all it does is just go in, 
like consistent boot loops so yeah it was already cracked when i found it i just ripped the touchscreen cable up here when i was removing it unfortunately i need to take the battery out of this so it stops trying to boot because it's not gonna boot here we have a samsung galaxy s7 this one is in mint condition besides the cracked screen i got this in a trade with jake carroll and yeah it runs android 8 it works totally fine it's a really nice phone i love this thing so much i use it a lot actually um it's 32 gigabytes and the only sucky part is that it's on sprint but it doesn't matter anyways because i think it has a battery sn so it, it doesn't matter here we have a blackberry classic this one better be charged i swear to god yay it is Alright, so this one works totally fine. Um, I did a review and stuff like that on this phone. It was really nice. And I only got it for like 20 or $30. I don't remember. I think 30 but yeah, it, it it's an amazing phone actually. It's really fun to mess with. Here's this thing. Uh, ZTE Concord 2 or whatever the heck. It's shattered, but it works totally fine. It's dead. Here we have an LG G2. Might do a restoration on this one as well. Um, this one just has a bad LCD, as you can easily tell by that. Um, somehow the touchscreen still works, even though that's usually the first thing to go out on these G2s. Um, I don't know how the touchscreen works, but, uh, it's whatever, I guess. It's cool. I don't really know what else to say. Um, yeah, as you can see, works totally fine, other than the, uh, bad LCD and shattered display. Next up. Blackberry, uh, what is this? Blackberry Storm. I don't think this one has a charge. And it doesn't. So, yeah, there's that. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy. It works, as you can see. Here we have a, uh, what is this? A Droid Incredible C. It doesn't have a battery in it, but it works totally fine. Here we have one of my favorite phones, honestly. Samsung Galaxy S1. GTI 900 or i9000, I don't remember, but this one is unlocked, of course, because it's an original one. Um, it works totally fine. Is this one really dead? I charged this one fully. Maybe this one has... Maybe I didn't charge this one fully. I don't even know anymore, but yeah, there's that. Um, anyways, here we have my first iPhone. This is an iPhone 4S. It's 16 gigabytes, and yeah, I, I got this back in like sixth grade, fifth or sixth, I don't remember. Yeah, it works totally fine. It's really nice, still. Um, and it's cool that I still have it. Um, and I plan to keep having it. I don't really know how else to explain that, but I want to keep it for forever, honestly. Here we have a, what is this, a Microsoft Kin. Um, this one works totally fine. It, I did charge this one, I know that. So this one will turn on. Yes, exactly. It works totally fine. It's just very, very scratched up, but it does work fine. Um, pretty cool and really neat little Windows phone. Next, we have a MyTouch 3G. This is my very first smartphone, except it's not the exact one that I had. Uh, my fir very first smartphone was a red MyTouch 3G slide, um, but this is a white MyTouch 3G slide, and it's still cool. This one works, as you can see. I want to get a back cover so I can, like, take off this freaking tape and crap. Next up, we have um, a Samsung Galaxy J3 Luna Pro. It looks very scratched up, but that's just a screen protector. Um, is this one really dead? All right. Well, I didn't expect this one to be dead, but okay, there's that one. It works perfect. Um, and, yeah, here we have a Samsung Galaxy Exhibit. I have two of these. Whichever one of these is charged will be the one I'll show you. So this one's not charged, so I won't show you that one. I'll show you this one, because this one is charged. As you can see, turns on. I got both of these from the Target bin at the same time. Here we have a, another iPhone 5S. This one works totally fine. It's on iOS 10. Got it in the trade with tech centers. It has a mint housing and a near mint screen, except the screen has water damage. I don't think the phone itself has water damage. I think it's just the screen that has water damage. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll get that replaced soon, but not right now because it doesn't matter. Here we have another HTC Rhyme. Uh, this one should turn on or not. Thank you very much for not being charged. Oh my god. This little HTC thing, it's a piece of garbage. 
goes on the floor. LG K3 doesn't have a battery. This is a ZTE Majesty Pro. This one works. Totally fine. It's on Android 6. And yeah. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, which does work. Um, if I do plug in the battery. Is it plugged in? Yeah, it's plugged in. Um, it will turn on. It's just that the screen doesn't work. Um, but surprisingly, the motherboard works. Oh, shut up. As you see, see the blue light right there? Even though the entire top of the phone is missing, it still somehow works. So yeah, that's amazing. If you listen closely. There we go. And if I do this. Oh wait, this isn't plugged in. Okay, well, now it's plugged in. You can hear it going off. So yeah, um, I'm gonna buy like a really, really cheap cracked screen that works and probably has LCD issues because these screens are super, super expensive. But all I wanna do is make this usable. So yeah, I might buy one of those for super cheap one of these days. But anyways, here we have a Samsung Dart. This one turns on. It's going to be super loud. Um, I put this in the dryer, or not the dryer, but the washer and then the dryer. Um, and it still works. So yeah. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy Lite. This one should turn on. Shut up. It does turn on. Here we have a Nokia... Oh my god, shut up. Here we have a Nokia X3. Um, this one works totally, f well, I think it works totally fine. Um, I've gotten it to power up once, but I need a battery and a back cover for it, so. Here we have that other Optimus phone. Okay, so this one shows the dead battery sign, but that's good enough for me. <laughs> um, here we have my last iPhone 3G. This one is also 8 gigabytes. Oh, this one does turn on. Okay, this one is running 4.0.2. Um, so it's not fully up to date, but it doesn't matter because it's still iOS 4. Here we have this thing, it doesn't turn on. Samsung Galaxy Ace, doesn't have a battery. Blackberry Q10. Oh, it is on, okay, well. Yeah, as you see, it works totally fine. Nice phone, I love this thing. LG Optimus V, works. Did work, I don't know. It's not charged, of course. Nokia 710 Lumia. I don't know if this one's charged. This one might be, but I don't think it is. Nope. Okay. And the last two, we have this one, which I made it into a really bright flashlight <laughs> by taking out just the LCD, but leaving all the backlight and stuff like that inside of it. Um, it's, it's so bright. And then we have this little weirdo thing right here. Um, this Samsung phone, which surprisingly isn't wanting to turn on right now, even though it turns on immediately when you press that power button, but all right. And last but not least, we have the phone that I'm recording on right now, which is my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, sorry. Um, yeah, it's Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. It's 64 gigabytes on Sprint, um, which sucks because I hate Sprint, <laughs> honestly, but yeah, I don't really feel like switching over to another phone to record this phone right here because there's really no point but um yeah it's a good phone i love this phone i use it all the time i wish i could main it but i can't so yeah anyways i also do have a another s5 somewhere and i also do have another 5s that is shattered but it's in the void aka my parents bedroom You're probably never gonna see it again <laughs> honestly but um yeah anyways this is all of my smartphones and two tablets, because why not? So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, and make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications if you want to see more of this stuff. Hopefully, I can start to upload more, because I really want to. It's just that, like, work and stuff keeps getting in the way, so. And I've already said this, but it's, it's not a bad thing because I'm making money, but it still sucks because I really love making videos for you guys. It's just that I barely have the time, and when I do have the time, I end up doing other stuff, like family stuff or chores that just take up time. So, 
yeah, I hope you guys understand why not a lot of videos have been coming out recently. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video once again, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.